Hi, my name is Natalia and I'm coming to you from the north part of Denmark. I was knitting really long and I was watching knitting podcasts really long time and I decided that I want to try to be a part of that knitting community. I was knitting for many years and when I see when all these people are showing this need, I'm thinking, oh, I want to show my work also. But I decide to don't go to all my previous knitted items. I will start from that what I was knitting during the January and what I have done until now uh, in January. First, item what I was ready with is thing that was test knit um, by a sweeter what's called it um, February in Portland that was test knit for Karen Chen and my sweeter looks like this I think it's looked nice. I'm not sure if I put, if I choose right color for this middle part. It's a color work, top down sweater. I choose different shades of brown and I'm not sure if I choose this brown part right. Because for me it's look like it's not right shade here. For now it's like this. I woven in the end, but I don't cut them yet. But it was blocked. Um, it's really nice. It's light because I uh, knit this in light fingering yarn. It's light. I don't know how much exactly it's weight, but it's not really heavy. I really like all parts of color work. My favorite part, I think, it's here when it's a lot of different stitches. But the sweater comes together really nicely. I'm not sure about this part, so maybe lately I will pick up where is this lace part, rip it out this part and put it back. I think maybe I will use that color. So the sweater, in the, um, instead of be three colors, will be two colors. But I think that will suit it better. I'm not sure. Another item, what I'm ready with, it's also this need. It was this need for Sari Norlund. Uh, it was this need of beret. It's a top down beret. It was also knit in fingering, held double with lace mohair. So it's really nice. I don't do the end again, but I wasn't get to wear this yet. I have two more finished objects. First, I decided that I have a lot long socks, but I was really wanted short socks. So I pick up, uh, I think, the most colorful yarn would have in my stash and make short socks. I like to knit my socks starting with a toe. So I cast on, go make German short rose heel. And then, I don't know, maybe 10 rows more after hill and then 10 rows of the ribbon. So my sock is ready. Now I have one pair of short socks and I have a plan to make more short socks this year because I really like how they fit on the leg and I think this they're really useful. So. Maybe I will have more so more short socks coming this year. I hope. The last 
item what I was ready with in January. It's not the last day of January today, but I don't think I will be ready with another item. This item was it's a piece of silver by Vera Valamaki. That was on my wish list really long time. First, I wasn't sure if I like the neck because mostly all my sweaters are don't have in this long neck. And then I wasn't sure what color I want to use this. But this year, when I was making my make nine list, I decided to put this on the list. So my first item for make nine in 2020 it's ready <laughs> i'm really pleased with this item i block it and i'm sure that i will start to wear this quite soon yeah it have a cropped fit i make sleeves i need a size s but um, when I was ready with the raglan, uh, I don't make the last increase in stitches, so it have something in between XS and S size. And I when when I was knitting the sleeves, I make decreases more often as was recommended in a pattern because I was wanted more fitted sleeves. I like them like that more. So I make that modification, but the sweaters look really nice. I'm really excited to use this in the future. I forgot to tell what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the sweater by Sari Nordlund. It was the test knit. It's called Poetria sweater. It's really nice sweater. It's it was knit in um, finger and weight, held double with my hair, and it had really nice lace pattern all over. Uh, not on sleeves, but front and back, and it's really nice. I think it was my first sweater, what I used cashmere in, and it's so soft. I'm really pleased with how it look. I really like it. Um, this shades like between blue and green, like aqua colors, uh, that's my palette. That's that what I like to use. I know, I don't know if that exactly suits me, but I feel myself really good in that, so I keep wearing them. Now I will go to the work in progress, what I'm knitting now. I have some projects what I'm not really, what is started, but I'm not knitting them now. I think I have two pairs of socks when I have one finished and one not finished. And then I have the vest, what I start need for my husband. And really hope to be finished until Christmas, but now is January and the rest is not done. So let's hope I will be ready to next Christmas. <laughs> now I have two more sweaters on the needles, what are also test needs. First test needs, it's a top down color work sweater. Uh, the sweater is called Baku and that's the designer name is Lindelow Anne. I use gray and blue colors. I'm ready with body and now I should just knit sleeves. Sleeves should be fitted sleeves and they all should be this main color, blue color, but I'm not sure if I should make them just blue or maybe I should make some color work repeats near cuffs also. 
I think maybe I should do this repeat like it's in the bottom or maybe this first one repeat but so far it's I'm happy with fit I made this little more cropped as the pattern calls for but designer was okay with that so now I have just sleeves to do I don't know if I will put color work Oh no, I have the... I should be done with this sweater until March and now it's the end of January so I think that will be done or well, at least I hope for that <laughs> The next my pro... Uh, the next sweater is also test knit and it's test knit it's the sweater everyday sweater and designer ears but don't kill design I was testing one sweater for her last year and it was color work sweater but this sweater is something like the sweaters what I was starting with it's made all in pieces so it's have front look like that it will have back look exactly like that and the sleeves are right and from bottom, uh, should be knitted from bottom and top. But for now, all I have is one part, and I start another piece, and I don't start sleeves yet. I kind of I think that I'm the fast knitter, but something is really slowing down me in this project, and I think. This is a yarn. This year I decide that I will use my stash. I don't have crazy big stash. But in a person like who I am, I'm a minimalist person. So I don't like to have a lot of things around me. It's stressing me. So I decide to use more yarn from my stash as I can. So. This yarn, it's called Yerte Trend. Look like that. I don't know if it's produced anymore because I buy that uh, from a thrift store boutique. And it's nice yarn. I try to wash it. After you wash it, it's become nicer. But now when I'm knitting with this, it's not really pleasant feeling. And the yarn content is wool and silk. And I think that this silk, what is used in this yarn, it's not, it's recycled silk. So it's not feel so good now, but I know that after I will wash it, that will be really good. The last, my work in progress, it's really big one. I'm not saying that I will be ready with this this month or next month or until summer or winter or even next year. I'm talking about my cozy memory blanket. There's no chance that I can put all this on the screen. Um, my username on the Rowerly, Rowerler. Rawer is uh, Talia in love. I will try to include links down and maybe there you can see more pictures of this. I put on my make nine that I will make 365 squares this year. I really like this blanket. And I hope to make this size for uh, our big bed. So it's double size bed. That will be a long trip. <laughs> I'm using fingering yarns. I'm using mostly scrubs or I have a lot. I was doing, I had two advent calendars in December and I had one in summary in summer 
what was called Christmas in July. I think all this event calendars what I have it's all swaps. So I'm swapping yarn 10 grams minis with another people. They are all wrapped and then during the advent time I'm just opening this and have so during December I was putting I was trying to put three squares every day. I don't really manage this but and uh, from 10 grams minis I'm getting like three squares. I'm using um, yarn not just one time because if I use this one time I don't know what to do. The one square take me around three grams so that's like that. All this yarn is left over from my advent calendar so during the year I will try to put more of this and I have also more in my um, project bag for the blanket. It's not project bag, it's more like a project blanket, uh, not project blanket, project basket because <laughs> my yarn for that, for blanket and the blanket, I leave it in this basket with the stain in our living room and near the sofa and the time when I can do this I'm making some squares at least I don't do it one a day I was trying but sometimes I'm more concentrated on the sweater what I'm needing ever, or something else so it's like that I have three more projects in mind what I want to start maybe next week maybe in the weekend when I will have a chance for this. First it's No Frills Cardigan by Petit Knit. I make one last year. I make this with finger and weight yarn hold with more hair and I really like the fit and my daughter really liked that also. So now my sweater laying in my daughter. And I decide to knit for her one and maybe I will get mine back. But this time I decide not to use fingering with mohair. I decide to use DK weight yarn. And I try, I think I will have almost the same gauge with that. So that's will be brownish yarn and it have tweed speckles like light brown and dark brown. I think that will look really nice. I have around 500 grams of this yarn. That will be plenty, that will be even too much. And it's also coming from my stash. So I will be really happy to use that. When I was knitting my shorty socks my son also asked me that he won that socks in that color first i was thinking it's really colorful for boy and then when i was ready with my socks i start i tell him like okay i'm ready to start socks for you and then he tell like yeah i want blue or green and i was like but he was pointing that color for yarn no that wasn't this so we went through my stash and he picked up this blue, different shade of blue yarn. And I will try to make socks out of this. That's all what I have and it's actually less than 50 grams. It's 46 or 48 grams. So what I will do, I will, my son is just six years and he's not really big. So what I will do, I will cast on them two at a time, one from top and one is from inside and will do as long as I can and if it's not enough then I will just put top part in some blue or light blue that will be combined with this and it's also stash. So, I'm happy so far. 
And then there is one more sweater what I really want to make. And this is this sweater call it yeah, Twix car sweater. It's by Junko Okamoto. I don't know if you really can see this if I show this from my phone. But again I will try to put all links down. The pattern calls for sport by yarn, but the gauge is really tight and um, I went through people who already make this pattern and many of them use fingering or even light fingering yarn and there was a lot of people who was using holst yarn, super soft but last year I need one hat with holst yarn noble it's have in it have wool and cashmere and this year I decide to treat myself to the quantity of this yarn for this sweater. So this sweater called for one main color and two contrasting colors and I decide that I have so many colorful sweaters but I don't have any black sweater. I have one gray sweater. No. I'm lying, I have two gray sweaters. <laughs> so I decide to make this from black. So my main color will be black. And then I have two gray colors, what will be contrasting colors. Like one is light gray, one is darker gray. The black is called, oh, they don't have a name. Mm. Yeah, black is called black. Exactly. <laughs> Light grey is called Sugnet and dark grey quarry. It's have for fifty gram have three hundred thirty three meters. So I'm kinda like really excited to start this sweater, but I don't have right needles for this now. Yeah, I went through people, through a list of people who was making these sweaters already and they mostly use some numbers, some size of needles that are not really common in Denmark. So it was like 225, then 275 and then 325. But here numbers are mostly like 2, then 2.5 two and, and then 3. So I want to go to some yarn store and find out if I can get it because I'm not really up for ordering this and then waiting this long time until it will arrive here. So that's kind of like all what I had for today. I don't know how that was. I hope that that was okay. The English isn't my main language and it's not my mother language and now I'm living in Denmark and Danish also is not my language so I am in the place when I'm talking two languages <laughs> what is not mine <laughs> and I'm learning Danish which is quite complicated language so I don't really have people who I know here who are knitting so I want to have at least some internet community where they can share my projects, see another people projects and feel myself a part of this community so I don't know how often I can make this podcast right now I think that maybe I will do this once in a month or twice in a month I will link my Instagram down there and my rubber name also there and yeah if you have some questions make a comment subscribe <laughs> and see you next time this is